In this video we'll unbox and I'm going to explain to you how to use SOEX EcoVisor F4 all-in-one meter. The EcoVisor comes in a gift box with a serial number on the side with uh, all the functions described on the back, our contact information and um, you can see that this is a real good box. So let's open it up and see how it works. Inside the box you will find uh, the unit and uh, a few manuals and this is the insert which says remove the film charge for six hours test everything charge again um, so the device will come with a protective clear tab in case you don't see this clear tab don't panic uh, this means that the device has been tested by our technical personnel here in the United States to make sure that it works perfectly after the overseas flight. So if you don't see the tab, just straight uh, go straight to the charging. After the device uh, is charged, I have one already here, you can start using it. By holding the OK button, the device will turn on. Oh, by the way, on the back of the box you will see, you will find the secret compartment and inside of it you will see the charging cable and the charger. You can use those to charge the device. We recommend charging it for six hours. Uh, in reality, I think four hours is more than enough. Uh, then you use the device until it's completely depleted and charge it again fully. Uh, do it two, three times, that will ensure that the batteries inside the devi uh, device have uh, the maximum capacity to work. Okay, so let's put everything aside. Uh, the manual is, of course, on English, user guide. It tells you everything about every function, has the technical specifications, um, and will explain you how the device works and give you some tips. It has the serial number and the stamp from the factory and um, pretty much everything else, uh, everything is explained here. But uh, let me explain, give you the basics and we'll do some testing. We have uh, some fruits and vegetables over here. Uh, we'll test some items for radiation, uh, for electromagnetic fields and also we'll test the water. Let's start uh, with the most important one, that's how the SOX started, with the radiation detector. It's located on the top right, um, the device uses a touch screen. Um, after you click it, you can see the number showing up right away. On the left, this is the accuracy bar. Once it's full, uh, then uh, it means you have the most accurate results. Um, in this video, we're going to test the card, which is uh, Bionergizer card with negative ions. It actually claims to protect from electromagnetic fields, but in reality it's being ionized and it has radiation. So to test the item, we'll just put the device on top of it and you can start hearing the more frequent clicks of the device of the Gigi tube right away. Um, as you can see, the numbers are increasing already. And if you want to test something like really fast and don't want to wait until the accuracy bar is full or like which takes about uh, one to two minutes you can press reset and uh, after that you will see the numbers right away so how the device works like it has um, it shows you the readings right away uh, every second it updates the reading but uh, basically it trails over the last minute of um, average readings so when you reset it it don't has uh, it doesn't have this trail so it shows you the numbers high numbers right away if it's something radioactive and you can see we reached uh, the high level so the of radiation so now the device is beeping let's put it away when you click dose you will see the dose uh, which uh, the meter accumulated so this particular meter was working for one hour and 17 minutes and the dose it uh, accumulated, it's uh, 0.16 uh, millisieverts. Uh, we press red uh, and we're back to the radiation background. Okay, let's check 
out another function, uh, which is electromagnetic fields located in the middle left. We have um, different views for the electromagnetic fields, which is indoor. You will use the device uh, around uh, the house or apartment or the workspace and walk around and see electric on the top and magnetic fields at the bottom. Then there is outdoor, which is less sensitive. You will use it outside to check the power lines, um, maybe a backyard or uh, even uh, uh, smart meters and uh, determine how far away you need to be from them. The next uh, view is household appliances. This is one of the most sensitive modes. Um, you will use it to check the electromagnetic fields from electronic devices. Uh, here we have a general smartphone. If I put the device on top of it, you can see um, you can see that the readings. Oh, and the last screen is the view, which basically shows you the readings. Uh, from the device. So uh, you see that uh, the device shows zeros. That's absolutely normal because usually uh, modern smartphones, they don't emit uh, too much electromagnetic fields. Uh, what we want to do, uh, we're going to make a call and see if the device is going to pick it up. And you can see right away when we start using the device, there is a magnetic and um, electric and magnetic field. Okay, so as we're using the device and making the calls, uh, the electromagnetic fields are picking up and increasing. Okay. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to write a comment um, under the video and uh, we're gonna reply right away and explain everything. Okay, the next, uh, let's do the nitrate testing. For, uh, which allows us to test nitrates, which accumulate in uh, fruits, vegetables, and meats if uh, chemical fertilizers were used to speed up the growth. Here we have uh, a banana. So from the menu, uh, we go down, we have apple, apricot, avocado, banana. Click OK and the device is going to do the calibration itself. Once uh, it says, um, shows you the picture of the fruit we're going to measure, uh, it's ready to go. So we remove uh, the probe cover, we stick the device in, make sure to stick it all the way so every metal um, part of the probe is inside, that will ensure the accurate results, and we click measure. It takes just a few seconds and um, once the bar is full you see the readings. In this case it's normal level of nitrates, 88, um, the number is 88 milligrams per kilogram. So the adults they can uh, eat up to 200-300 uh, milligrams of nitrates per day. With the kids the level is much less lower. So make sure you keep track of how, ma how much nitrates you eat. So if we have uh, uh, this banana, uh, I think it's like uh, 300 grams and 88 milligrams per kilogram. Just divide it by three and you'll have the number. Okay. Next, uh, let's test uh, mushroom. We'll go to nitrates. We'll scroll down, you can scroll either way, up or down. I'm gonna scroll up, you will see seafood, meat, baby norm. Baby norm we can use for every fruit, vegetable, uh, even if it's not in the system. It will allow you to understand how many nitrates this particular product has um, and uh, if it's safe for the small babies to eat. So we are looking for mushrooms over here. Nectarine. Here we go, mushrooms. Click OK, calibration. Then uh, it says that the normal level is 60 milligrams. We stick the probe all the way in again and try to make sure that there is no gaps, air gaps, uh, so the probe is actually inside the device and it's not in the air cavity. 
um, we'll press OK to measure and we'll see the result in a few seconds. Uh, this mushroom has uh, less than 10 milligram per kilogram. When it says less than 10, it's either less than 10 or it means that the probe is not inserted correctly. So let's try it again because here I see there is like a hole. Uh, it's just uh, basically uh, air inside. So we didn't measure the device. Uh, let's find another spot and this time let's use this sweet spot. And we'll click repeat. Wait. And now we can see that the normal level of nitrates 10. So it means that this particular uh, mushroom is safe to eat. It doesn't have any nitrates. And um, you might um, notice that clicks are still going on. That means that the radiation is still measuring in the background. And some of you might know that mushrooms tend to accumulate radiation. This mushroom is also safe, so that's a good news. Uh, last test, uh, let's test avocado. Uh, in this particular, uh, we'll uh, scroll up, find avocado, everything in alphabetical order. We'll do the calibration. This is organic avocado that we're testing and again we'll try to get the probe all the way inside here we go and we'll press measure or ok button here we go this organic avocado has high level of nitrate nitrates 125 and uh, the normal level was as you might remember, if you need to like to remember which, what is the normal level, you just allow the device to calibrate. It's 60, so 185 uh, nitrates. So it means that something wrong with this avocado. Uh, it has a lot of nitrates, so it's better to avoid it uh, and not to eat like the whole of it or to cook it, so some nitrates will escape. Okay. Okay, let's uh, deal with the um, uh, fruits and vegetables for now. Uh, we'll use uh, the device, uh, we'll clean the probe. You can use a paper towel. In this video, I'm just using my hands. Okay, and the last function that we have is a uh, uh, water tester. So it works uh, similar to nitro testing, yeah, the device calibrates itself automatically. Um, it has automatic temperature compensation, so if your water is too cold or too hot, just insert the device. So every mm, metal part of the probe is inside. Wait a little bit until the temperature stabilizes and click measure. Don't put all the device in, uh, in the water because it's not water protected. So um, in this um, in this water test, we see that uh, the water is moder moderately hard, and it has 235 parts per million. Uh, what it means? It means that besides the molecules of H2O, which is basically pure water, there are 235 particles per million uh, of something else. And this is a tap water here in Florida. And uh, if you live in Florida, you know that the tap water, you probably don't want to drink that. And the device tells you exactly about that. So we're going back. Uh, the last thing I want to explain to you is uh, the settings. Uh, we have, um, under the settings, you have units of measurements. You can switch between Zverts, Rongens uh, or CPM, which is counts per minute. Uh, this is for radiation background measurement and also for the dose. Then we have a background threshold, which is basically uh, when alarm sounds when a certain level of radiation is reached. And you can put it as low as uh, you can turn it off or put it as low as point. Uh, one zero, uh, which is 
relatively normal radiation. By default, it's uh, 0.40. Then we have dose. Uh, that means the device will sound alarm when a certain level of cumulative radiation dose has been reached. It's very useful if you work with x-ray machines or if you travel a lot uh, on the plane because radiation is really high or if you live like in the mountains or in the areas which are um, radioactive and then you want to set the dose and keep levels, uh, track levels of the dose levels so you don't uh, overstep them and if you do overstep them then take a break away from the work uh, or from the area which is radioactive. Uh, then you have the brightness, uh, the lower the brightness, uh, the longer the battery lasts, you can switch it. Right now it's on the top level at 3. And then we have the sound, you can um, turn the sound on and off so you don't uh, attract attention when you test uh, foods in the grocery store or radiation around. Uh, you can uh, uh, work with the background thresholds, with the dose limit sound, so to turn on the alarms and the sensor sound, that's the clicks that you're hearing uh, right now of the radiation background. Uh, then we have sleep, that's when the device uh, turns off the screen, but it's still working. Um, by default it's 30 seconds, I would recommend to increase it uh, maybe to 60 at least, so when you're measuring the screen doesn't turn off on you. Then auto uh, shutdown function, Basically, if you don't use the device for 10 minutes, 20 or 30, it will shut down to preserve the battery. Um, then you can set up the date and the time, um, so you can track uh, what's going on and when you measured. And then uh, the probe, uh, it's um, automatically, when you, this function automatically activates nitro tester when you remove the probe. Uh, it's very useful uh, when you keep the device in the kitchen and test uh, fruits and vegetables when you cook for your family. So instead of like turning on the device and going there, you just remove the prop and uh, it turns on automatically and ready to go right away. Um, another function is touch screen, you can turn it off so you don't press it accidentally. For example, when you're carrying the device and just use these buttons instead. Um, you can change the language, you have uh, multiple languages installed in the device. Uh, English, uh, German, uh, Bulgarian, uh, Poland, uh, Romanian, uh, Turkish, uh, Spanish, uh, Chinese, Russian, and back to English. So the device is a great gift uh, for you uh, or for a family member who doesn't speak uh, English or maybe they want another language. Okay, uh, what else about the device? The Gigamilo tube is located on the back. It's all the way here behind the vents. The device is certified by the CE European Association. Um, the batteries, it's using uh, two AAA batteries which are also located on the back. You can take off the cover of the device. We have another video for that and uh, replace the batteries after a few years uh, if they don't work properly. And to turn off the device, you just hold the OK button it shuts down. Overall, uh, the device feels pretty heavy uh, and uh, solid, and uh, it's one of the best meters that you can find right now on the market. Uh, check out uh, our website, soex-usa.com, uh, and get Soex Ecovisor F4 for you uh, protection and uh, also for the family. Thanks for watching.